A two-day dialogue on climate change to set the agenda for the forthcoming COP27 conference in Egypt has called for an environmental audit of all states in Nigeria. It also seeks the nation's health audits as well as comprehensive review of the Petroleum Industry Act and the Climate Change Act. Senior correspondent Jokia Diza reports. The 2012 floods in states across Nigeria were unprecedented. About 430 lives were lost and many houses submerged. This year's rains have been following similar trends as states, including Kogi, Borodu, Lagos and others, count their losses. Such is the worsening climate conditions not only in Nigeria but across the globe. In a number of weeks, nations across the world will converge on Egypt for COP27 to chart the way forward in globally addressing the challenges of climate change. This two-day conference brings together environmentalists in and outside Nigeria, as well as representatives of communities impacted by oil spills, gas flaring, and other inhumane activities of companies in Nigeria's oil-rich region. It presents to us another opportunities for parties to look at their climate ambitions, their climate com their commitments, and again to look at the possibility of risk solutions. Notable environmentalist Nemo Basi gives the keynote address. He says Nigeria must plan for a post-petroleum era. It's more clear that the policy direction globally is leading the world to suicidal destinations, which means that the COP itself is not only colonial in nature, it's a failure. Just transition is not just a slogan, but a mandate to ensure that the journey to a no carbon economy is all inclusive and transformative, leaving nobody, no community, no sector, and no region behind. The government cannot do it alone. All hands have to be on deck to see that we fight this cause together. And our vision is to have a vibe vibrant and resilient Africa that is, um, you know, inclusive um, social um, economic uh, development that delivers uh, an equitable and uh, sustainable um, growth for Africa. So much has been said about the damaging effects of climate change at this conference, but the consensus is the need for the nation's youths to take policymakers to task if the desired change is to be effected. Jokia Adisa, TVC News, Abuja.